If you want to apply for one of Montana's non-resident combination hunting licenses and for a prized buck deer or bull elk permit, you will need to fill out an application and turn it in by March 15th. This packet includes all you need to apply, maps, hunting districts, and information on drawing odds and quotas. Before we get started, remember that this application is for your combination license and for your buck deer and bull elk permits. You will need to apply for antlerless deer B and elk B licenses by June 1st. When you have your application, follow these simple steps. Choose the non-resident combination license for which you wish to apply, the big game combination, the elk combination, deer combination, or landowner-sponsored deer combination. If you wish to participate in the Preference Point program for a combination license, make sure to check Yes in the Preference Point box and include the $50 non-resident fee. Determine if you need a deer or elk permit in your hunting area. To do this, review the map and the list of permit drawing opportunities within the application packet. If the hunting district where you wish to hunt indicates a permit is required, you must apply by March 15th. If the list of permit drawing opportunities indicates that no permit is required, your combination license will be all you need to hunt next fall. If you apply for a big game or elk combination license and an elk permit, you must choose from the following options if you are not awarded an elk permit through the drawing. Keep your big game or elk combination license, return it and request an 80% refund, return the general elk license portion of your big game combination license for a refund and receive a deer combination license. Pick the correct hunting district and permit code. Some hunting districts have more than one option for a permit. For instance, one for archery only or general season only, or one valid for archery and the general season. Some permits are also valid for more than one hunting district. Check before you choose. Check your odds of drawing a permit. These are located below the maps for deer and elk. If you wish to participate in the bonus point program for a deer and elk permits, make sure to check yes in the bonus point box and include the $20 non-resident fee. If you are applying as a party with a paper application, make sure all party members are listed. And if you are applying for permits, that all party members apply for the same hunting districts in the same order and include the same preference point and bonus point participation. In other words, in a party application, everyone applies for preference points and bonus points, or nobody does. All party applications must be submitted in the same envelope. For online applications, the party establisher must list all party members and provide the party number to all party members, so each member can apply online for that party. Finally, make sure to verify all of your information is correct before submitting by March 15th. 